I'm Joost van Eert. We have a dairy farm and an arable farm here in Steenbergen in the Netherlands. Firstly, I've always loved to milk. Milking is nice, you get to check your cows together, control of the cows is good and you can assess their appearance. So milking is something I like to do. I don't mind it at all. The milking process runs smoothly, so you are only busy for a limited time. 180 cows are milked and the parlour is cleaned out within 1.5 hours. It's an easily managed time frame, and after that, milking is finished for the day. This enables you to use the rest of the day more efficiently to monitor your cows or to work out in the field. This is what gives us time. The system works so well. We have an extra milker who milks for us when we're not around, and it's easy to hand over responsibility. He knows the milking process and knows exactly what to do because it's a system that works for everyone. Cow identification works well too, so there's no errors while operating. No malfunctions, no awkward problems. You can leave with the family for a day without concerns. If you want to do something fun, someone else can milk for you, and you don't have to be worried about your cows for the day. They're well taken care of, and that was not the case previously. Originally, we wanted to milk with robots. We had to make the difficult decision to sell the robots and switch back to traditional milking. We chose the Dairy Master Parlour and have been happily milking for the last two years. Nowadays, our schedule is easier to plan, routines are tighter. It's like, this is what we'll do in the morning, that job in the dairy, finished. Now we can focus on the next job. If you're growing your herd, you need the ability to develop a well-organized, tight working schedule and perform a lot more in a shorter time frame to make your business more profitable. We chose our milking parlor with the growth of our herd in mind, but you might say, I only want to milk 100 to 100 120 cows, then most people go for two robots. But if you opt for a swingover of any decent size, then milking is finished within the hour. Efficiency, working speed, other health, milking process quality are all very important to me. And for me, yes, I'm very satisfied. If I had to go through the whole process again, I would buy exactly the same parlour. If I were to upscale, I might even consider one of your revolver rotary parlours. Also a wonderful system. For someone thinking, how do I want to milk, that person should consider the investment. This parlour costs a bit because we added many extra features, high quality finish and so on, but the annual cost is way less compared to our previous system. It may be a large investment, but because of lower maintenance costs and because we can produce more litres of milk per hour, the efficiency of the parlour is actually very high. You get the higher capacity with it. You could even run the milking parlour 20 hours per day and milk way more cows. The only added cost would be labour. If I wanted to milk 30 more cows or 26 more, it's only one more round of milking, about 10 more minutes. So this allows flexibility to up or down scale. I expect to get 20 to 30 years service from this parlour. It should easily last a full generation of farming. Maybe you would need to renew the pulsators from time to time, but the steel base, that never wears out. You can see that when you look at the amount of steel that goes into it. I looked at the packing slip when they came to install the parlour and I was thinking to myself, gosh, that much steel in a parlour, how will it fit? But it was just so well made. There's lots of stainless steel in the pipework and overall design. Of course, there's a cost to that, it's an investment, but we're never afraid to invest in good quality once it means that annual costs can be reduced and kept low. That's the big advantage to me, especially for parts and annual maintenance. Of course there's maintenance and you have to pay, but with Dairy Master a small part or a rubber ring will only cost you a few euros. There's examples of other manufacturers that would charge you 80 euros for the same ring. I think to myself, what's that all about? Just invest a little more and then pay maintenance for what its real value is. But this, the parlour and how it's constructed, is just a generation. That's how long it should easily last.